So just as we expected, we made it to the next round of the Europa League. I think everything's going to go well. I think maybe we could even progress far in this competition. You never know. Maybe we could even make the Champions League. Who knows? The Europa League could be our road to success. But So to change the tone of the video so far just a little bit, um, some positive news came in. Um, we did have our youth intake, and Phil Cosgrove came through. He looks like an absolutely banging prospect. He's already scored 15 goals in his nine appearances in the you know youth matches. He's a one-and-a-half star already at just 17 years old. He has a five-star potential, and I think he could go on to be like a, a, our starting striker. I think he could definitely take over for good Andy in the uh, in the striker position. Before we go ahead and enter the dreaded encounter with Barcelona, um, first I'll show you how we've been since the last episode. Um, Fiorentina, we lost 1-0 in the second leg, but I mean it was it ended up being all I mean all fine because of course that we won 4-0 the first time, and then we had a disappointing tie with um with Portsmouth where we did dominate the game we just couldn't create any chances but coming into the Barcelona game we do ha are on good like you know off of a good result as Eden Hazard scored two goals in a 3-0 victory he is coming into his own as of late all the all, every time I play him he do, he puts in a pretty good shift so I think that the you know the explosion that we all think is going to be incoming is coming soon but um, with that being said let's get into the tactics for the Barcelona match the good news is we have almost our full strength 11. We have a full strength back four, Garcia, Yobo, Stam, and Zicardo. We have Lux at the back, Kalstrom, and Aquilani. The only change I've had to make to my ideal 11 is I've put Nani in the middle, put Andy out wide because um, Lapaglia did pick up an injury. So um, this is definitely a look that we could have looked at if um, Lapaglia hadn't have had such a good season already. You know, he has uh, 15 assists so far in all competitions. So, I mean, that did end up being a great signing. But... Nani can come in this middle area. I think this is really his preferred position anyway. And then Andy's going to play on the left because Lapaglia still has, what is it? He still has, oh, he's returning to full training tomorrow. So he might actually be available for the next leg. I'm not sure if he's going to be full fitness by then. But he may be available for the second leg if we're still competitive at that point. We're playing at home against Barcelona. This is obviously going to be the biggest match that anyone's probably seen at Goodison in decades. But um, with that being said, let's just get into it and hope that we can hold on. Oh, they have Eto, Ronaldinho, Messi, Deco, Xavi, Marquez, Bronkhurst, Puyol, Pasanen. Okay, I'm not exactly sure who this is, but I uh, he's amazing. So that's the only that's really all I need to worry about. He's unbelievably good. He is a four star right back. Anyway, um, Pasanen um, in the middle with Belletti on the right, and then Victor Valdez on the in goal. Oh, they have Wayne Rooney on the bench. They have Fernando Torres on the bench. They have Julie on the bench. Oh, this is gonna. This isn't gonna be good, is it? We have we have um, we have the Welsh magician as our super sub. They have Rooney and Torres. All right. Surprisingly, in the first 15 minutes, we're the ones dominating the match. We have the possession advantage. We have the shots. We have the shots on target. But there is a highlight here. Ronaldinho finds Van Bronckhurst, who did score that brilliant goal in World Cup 2010. Um, Marquez out to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho has a shot. Ronaldinho hits the outside of the post. And that's the quality that we know he can turn on at any moment that none of our players have even remotely close to. I mean, I think the player that we have that might have the most like chance to explode and do something crazy is Nani. Is what I was about to say was Nani, and he just dribbles past four players on the turn and then takes a shot, and it just goes wide. Two excellent players. Of course, Ronaldinho is much better, but um, two excellent players showing their quality in the first 20 minutes of the match. Now, in the 28th minute, Stom finds um, Zicardo out wide, who, uh, who looks for Osman, who has space, plays it into Stom. We know that he, uh, as a center back, is good with the ball. He does find Andy out wide. Andy looks for Kalstrom. Kalstrom plays it in Osman. Osman, could he cross it? Osman, into good Andy. The shot is blocked, though. We, we could reload the attack here, but it doesn't look like we will. Now, Xavi with a free kick. Puyo in. And it looked on side to me. I'm not exactly sure why this hasn't been given a goal, but it looks like the assistant hasn't counted. Well, huh. That's odd. I didn't get like a goal notification up here, but it looks like it has counted actually. Puyo's header has gone in, of course. I mean, it was a goal. They're up 1 0 now. They have an away goal, which is definitely bad. I mean, I probably would have reacted differently if I had thought it was a goal. But now Osman has a chance to equalize. Osman gets past one. It looks like it's a penalty kick. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Good Andy has the penalty. He doesn't even need to go to the VAR stand. Good Andy has the penalty. Can he Can he finish and equalize here? I think we will have deserved an equalizer, and we've gotten it. Valdez guessed the right way, but good Andy still finished it either way. And um, I think that's his 25th goal of the season. So, I mean, that's definitely good for good Andy. Um, I'm not sure exactly why this is 
lagging at this uh, so much. Yes, it is his 25th goal of the season. Um, but now there's another chance here. P- P- passing in um, does pass the ball before um, Good Andy can get to him. And this has been an absolutely jam-packed first 41 minutes of the match. Um, Ronaldinho now has the ball, though, and we know what he can do. He finds Van Bronkers, who could look across for Messi or Eto in the middle. Instead, he finds Ronaldinho on the outside of the box. Marquez, Deco, and look at this tiki-taka passing from Barcelona. And Messi's shot is saved by Lux, and it's still 1-1. We're still in the match. I mean, I think that as an away, as a performance either way, whether we're away or home, I think that we've had a brilliant first half here. I'm not disappointed with the boys at all. In fact, I'm actually really excited because I think that if we could go on to – Maybe somehow if we could go on to win this first leg, we could make it difficult for them at the Camp Nou. Now, Ronaldinho with the ball. Aquilani has the tackle, though. Now, Kalstrom into Andy. Yobo has the ball now. David Garcia. David Garcia has spaced on the line. Could he put a cross in? He does put a cross in, but Osman has been taken to the outside of the box with the cross, and now it looks like they're countering. What a ball into Eto, and Eto finishes, and Eto puts Barcelona up 2-1, and they're just showing us that they have the quality to beat us without even needing the chances. They only have six shots, but they have two goals. They have one clear-cut chance. They still have two goals. They're We've been dominating the match, but they can just counter at any point. And Eto has quality that we will ne- probably never see on this roster. So, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do about that. But Yobo tries to clear it, but Xavi volleys in. It's off the bar. What a goal that could have been. And now Barcelona looks like they're just kind of flexing on us a little bit. Xavi puts the corner in. Looks for Deco. Can't find him. Or that was Eto. My apologies. Now Ronaldinho on the wing. Puts the ball in. Out into Marquez. Finds Van Bronkers in acres of space, but he's tackled by Zicardo. Maybe we can counter here. Nani finds Stom. Stom looks to play a ball into Andy, but it's just way too hard, and it goes to the Barcelona defense. Andy's picked up an injury here, and I think we have to take Andy out here. Um, um, I think we can put in Kalstrom here, and then put in Phil Neville here. Um, and then besides that, I think we do this put in put in um t- uh, the Welsh magician and then besides that do I need to make another change Calstrom's tired but I don't know if we can afford to take him out unless we have a we have Scott Phelan over there I mean I trust him do I trust Scott Phelan in the in this situation yes we're doing it we're putting Leon Osman in there we're taking Kalstrom out. We're putting in Scott Phelan. We trust we trust our boys, and hopefully in their preferred positions, they can make something happen. The subs haven't been made yet. Um, Osman, can you find good Andy on the counter? No, he can't, but it looks like we are the ones on the counter. Stop, look at this passing from Everton here. And now Andy carrying a knock, but he's still soldiering on. Finds Kalstrom on the outside of the box. Looks for Osman. It's hit too hard, but it goes out to Sicardo. Can he put a better cross in this time? Sicardo. Looks for a player. Puyol clears it out. And Ronaldinho gets it, but he's tackled immediately. And now it's sitting on the corner flag. I've never seen that in, in FM. Aquilani does save the ball. Zicardo has space for a shot. Zicardo scores, and it's 2-2. Everton has equalized. What a goal from Zicardo off of a strange circumstance. I have never seen that animation in this game ever before. The ball is just sitting on the corner flag. And, I mean, the corner flag has turned into a hero here at Goodison. Um, Zicardo, Zicardo scored a brilliant goal, and I think we need a statue of this corner flag exactly on the outside. I mean, what what a br- what a brilliant what a brilliant performance from the flag there. Um, but right after we've made the subs, it looks like there's another highlight, and that is never a good sign against a Barcelona team that looks raring to go here. Um, Eto puts a ball in, finds Ronaldinho. It's on the ball. Oh, I thought it was off the bar, but it was. I mean, obviously it was off the bar, but I thought it was gonna stay out. But Lux did the best he could, but it just Ronaldinho's header was just too well placed, too hard, too powerful, too special from a special player. And Lux does the best he can to keep it out, but he can't get his body around to, to try to save it off the line. And unfortunately, Ronaldinho puts Everton uh, down two three, and more importantly, um, he gives them their third away goal. And I'm not sure there's gonna be much we can do to get back into this tie. However, the Welsh magician has a free kick he looks at yobo yobo's headers off the post that could have been his 11th goal of the season and the match has ended here at goodison 3-2 um their three away goals pulio Eto, and ronaldinho give them a, a solid advantage going into the second leg but however we still have done much better than i thought we would we actually dominated the match in many respects however the chances they had were all they needed they go up 3-2 
and I mean, m much of that we couldn't have done much about. The ha the home fans were definitely on our side, and I don't know if we're going to get this. I mean, I don't know if without that support we're going to be able to do a, have a similar performance in Spain. However, I think we just have to do the best that we can, and no matter the result of this tie, the boys have been heroes today. And honestly, I think that this is much closer than any of us expected. A goal and an assist for La Paglia leads us past Reading 3-0. They're really a sorry outfit today, but I think we're just going to get to what we all want to see, the second leg of the Barcelona match. Here's the lineup. We know we have a tough task ahead of us, but we just have to do our best and hope that the boys can perform. We have good Andy up top. Andy, Nani, Osman, Kalstrom, Aquilani, David Garcia, Yobo, Stom, Zicardo, and Lux. And the bench is Cordoba, Lequi. Phil Neville, new boy Phil Cosgrove. We know the quality he could maybe bring off the bench. Who knows? A 2004, um, a Titus Bramble, the Welsh magician, and then Sam Robertson, another one of our young strikers off the bench. I mean, we just we don't really because of the Europa League um, registration, using these youth players on the bench is really our only option. But um, either way, we're definitely gonna um, we're hoping to win this match. The lineup they used today, instead of using um, Ronaldinho. He will not start the match. He's not even in the squad, actually, which is definitely a positive for us. They've just brought Wayne Rooney in instead. So, and they still have Torres on the bench. They they have Pedro now and on the bench as well, um, who's only made one appearance all season. That's the kind of quality they have. And um, hopefully, we can overcome that quality though with just heart and desire. And Xavi has a free kick. He puts the ball in. Stom heads it out though. It's only as far as Messi. Can we get a tackle in? Maybe. Maybe we can tackle in. Um, no, but it, Barcelona is starting to pass the ball around. Van Bronckhurst looks for an option, finds Puyol, and you know that they, they can pass around the back. You know they can pass anywhere on the pitch. But Xavi makes a rare poor pass there, and now maybe we can start the attack. Garcia looks around. He's tackled, but he gets the ball back, finds Yobo. Yobo finds Nani. Nani tries to play a ball in. I'm not exactly sure who that was for. Maybe it was for good Andy, but... They get the ball back now, and now Messi's at, now Messi has it. Now Messi has it, and it, oh, oh, we've seen Messi do that so many times, and he's done it to us. Messi has absolutely broken us here. He's only 21 years old at this point, but he's absolutely destroyed us there. Look at this ball in here, and then Messi just goes all the way. He goes past one. He goes past two. He goes past the tackle from Yobo, and then he hits it past Lux, and there's nothing he can do. And we're down. We need three goals now, and what's the likelihood that's going to happen here, really? But we have a throw in. Zicardo finds Osman. Osman, can you put a ball in? Osman looks for Andy, but it's just a little bit too cl close to the defender. But now Andy has it back. Finds Osman. <coughs> My apologies. <coughs> yep. Yep, that happened. But um, Osman was very close, but Valdez made an absolute wonder save. Garcia, ball into Andy. Now, Andy, can he equalize here? Andy. Good Andy, and good Andy equalizes in the match. We just need we need two more goals, and good what a goal from Andy! What a time to score, twenty seventh goal of the season. And I mean, I don't think that I'm not positive if we can do this, but if we, I mean, if we did, this would be a legendary result in Everton history. I mean, what a time to score! We still need two more goals, but I mean that's a great start. Passanen's looks it looks like Passanen's been given a yellow card here. And now Andy has a chance. Puts a ball in. Or no, he hit, takes the shot. And Valdez makes the save. That was a great chance for us to get a, a goal and tie it up on goals. But of course we would need two because of your uh, away goals. But Phil Neville's header, header has gone straight into the hands of Valdez as well. And time is running out for us to come back in this tie. However, there, there is a, looks like a chance here. Good Andy nicked it away, but it has gone back to passing in. And Barcelona can start an attack here. Valdez goes out a little bit too far, but it, it, he still f does w uh, well enough to get the ball away. Now Messi's gone on a run, finds Eto'o. Eto'o's shot is blocked, and Messi has just been the difference today, I think. But we do have a chance here. Now Zicardo finds Kalstrom with... Oh, I thought he would find Kalstrom with the throw because it's just a simple throw. But no, Osman finds Good Andy. Good Andy shot's blocked. Osman has a chance, and Osman shot's blocked by Valdez. And all the chances we get are not giving us... are not doing enough for us here. And I think I, what I need to do is I need to... Um, not Andy. Andy can't come out apparently. Um, Zicardo's tired. I think I put in. I think I put in the Welsh magician, that same sub that we made last game, and now Kalstrom. Huh. I don't think there's a way to sub anybody else out that needs to come out. I think we're gonna have to stick with this lineup for the rest of the match. All right. I think this is what we're gonna do, boys. And unfortunately, it looks like it looks like um, 
Barcelona have just wasted the time out. Messi's been man of the match. He had a goal. We saw that I was obviously brilliant. He had 10 successful dribbles, which is just absolutely ludicrous. And I mean, I don't think there's anything we can do when we're coming up against quality like that. But we've put in a we've put in an absolutely heroic performance. And I mean, I can't ask much more of the boys than that. So um, we go out of the Europa League in the quarterfinals. But I mean, I think that we just have to be happy with the way that we've done. Um, unfortunately, I think that that means next season we're not going to have any sort of Europe. It's going to be hard to attract the players that we did this summer and next summer. So, I mean, we just have to think about, I mean, that's going to be a difficult task. What we're going to do as well as we can during the transfer window. We're also probably going to have a smaller budget because of that. I'm going to say um, it would have been nice to win here, but it wasn't to be. And um, we've put in a, we've tried our, our, we've put our hearts out there uh, on display, but unfortunately it hasn't worked out for us. And, um, Man, the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? It's slime time, nigga. It's slime time, nigga. You didn't like and subscribe? Well, it's slime time, nigga. So like, subscribe, follow the social medias down below. Cause it's slime time, nigga. Slap.